Fabian, early in the week, um, Ooh, Mike TV. spoke to me about um, teaching you some lessons, actually giving you um, a little bit of a different perspective. First off, what did you learn about yourself in there tonight? And what did you learn about Mike? Um, what did I learn about myself tonight? Uh, I, don't know, I just felt like I was waiting around too much. I felt like I should have... The first situation I should have went, I should I should have found exposed more into the into certain positions and put myself out of certain positions. Um, I learned that. Uh, with Mike, I just learned that he brought everything that I thought he was gonna bring. Everything that he brought, I thought he was gonna bring it. I mean, so and I knew what he was gonna bring. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I never. I I've trained for for it all and I, I do it in the gym every day. That's the worst thing about it. If you ask my teammates, I do this shit in the gym every day and I get it. You know what I mean? So. But sometimes the lights are on and all of that bollocks and you don't get a chance to perform how you want to perform, but on to the next. How did you feel the fight should have been scored from your perspective? Um, I feel like I was trying to, I was trying to be the damage. I was trying to land the, the damaging strikes. You know what I mean, um, yeah, you were trying to hold and I was trying to get separation to, to hurt him and finish him. Um, I feel like I got it or a draw, but I don't feel like he got it because he weren't even on the floor. In it, you weren't trying to end the fight, you weren't trying to land big strikes from the floor or, or, or anything like that, from my eyes. You know what I mean? I have to watch the fight back and, and I'll see again. But all my team think I've won it, so fuck it. But going into the third, did you feel like you needed a big range? My brother came and said, Listen, listen, it might be 1 1 or whatever. You need to go out there and fucking just go, just go. Mm. You know what I mean? So I was trying to go, I was trying to hurt him. I like to watch the fight back because I feel like I had him hurt. I, I don't know if I did or if I didn't, but I feel like I had him hurt like a couple of times. Um, and, and yeah. Fabian, like it's been a great year for um, Team Renegade as well. It's actually been a great day for Team Renegade as well. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we had Natty winning the title. Yeah. Aiden won his fight. Akron won his fight as well. Is this just the end of a great year for Team Renegade and it's just the beginning of what we're going to see in 2020? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, feel, I feel like we've had a great year. My brother is number four in the world now. One or two fights away from a world title shot. We've got two world champions this year. Um, I, feel like, I, I think in the pro, we've got like, I don't know about, 10 wins on one last or something like that, you know what I mean? So I feel like for the UK gym, we're the best gym. You know, we're definitely the best gym. So, yeah, Fabian, and our record speaks yeah. for itself. Fabian, you mentioned your brother's only about one or two, uh, one or two fights away from a title shot in the UFC. Yeah. How many title fights do you think, uh, how many fights are you away from a shot in Bellator? I mean, Lovato's got a record not too dissimilar to yours. Um, I feel like it just depends on the fight. You know, um, I think Costello called me out. You know what I mean? He's, he's called me out. So that's a fight that I, I said I wanted next. So let, let's let's make it happen. Where does the rematch, rematch shit, come? Oh, oh, sorry, go yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, what about the rematch? Obviously, Mike Kenny said he wants a rematch straight away. If possible, would you consider that? I like it's what it is. I feel like I was trying to I was trying to hurt that man. I was trying to end him. You know what I mean? So everyone told me that he doesn't deserve the rematch just yet. Let, let him go and let him win one or two or whatever, and then let's play it out back in Birmingham. You know what I mean? As a main event, that'll be that'll be something that I think the Birmingham fans you know would we'll, we'll enjoy. So. Yeah. Do you think the rivalry continues? Is it still there or is there respect now between you two? Uh, not really respect. It just is what it is. I told everyone after this I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. I mean, moving on. Get my feet up. Have a nice Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was a lot of tension in, in the room tonight. Did you feel that when you came out? Like, I mean, you guys got a lot of people invested in this fight. Yeah. You know, you could feel it yeah. in the room. Uh, there was incidents <laughs> popping off. There was fights happening <laughs> yeah. in the crowd. I mean, it really felt like people had a lot of skin in the game. You know what I mean? Did, yeah. you, were you happy with the way this was promoted, the way you, you drummed up so much interest? Yeah, I, feel, yeah, I was happy. I was happy. I felt like this 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 was the main event. You know what I mean? For, like, fair play to fucking, what's his name? Um, Thank you for for finishing that Italian kid. But I felt like this was the main event. I felt like this was the fight that everyone seemed to enjoy more. So, yeah, I'm happy that I felt like I brought that on. You know I mean, I felt like I, that, was, that was due to me and my back and forth and whatever. So, well, yeah, is there I beef between you guys and MVP? Because he's saying, like, I mean, as you said there, there was an incident at the weigh-ins where he stormed uh, across the room. It seemed like he was... Um, no, no, no that's, 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 <laughs> that's no, it's not beef on our side. That's, that's, that's been squashed anyways, you know what I mean? But we don't need to talk about that. What about a fight with MVP <laughs> at middleweight? Would you rather? If he if he come up to middleweight, then yeah, I am in it. You know what I mean? But I'm not. I have to cut off. I have to cut off a, a, a fucking arm and a leg to to make welterweight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that ain't happening anytime soon. So yeah. 
you don't like your third shipment a little bit in the third round. Did you think that you could have got the finish done? Yeah, I feel like I can. I'm you sure. You sort of stumbled a little bit from yeah. an uppercut. And with the upper, I thought I caught the uppercut elbow, but I caught myself saying, I'm, I'm fucking grim. I'm like, fucking gone. You know what I mean? So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, normally you see your uh, first, second round going for the kill then. Was yeah. Because it, it was in the third round. In like, the third round, my brother was like, one a piece. He's like, just fucking go at it. So I was like, let me just go, you know. So like I, said, I felt like. I was I was tired. He was tired, but I had more I had more to to give, you know, and that's what got me the the victory, you know. That, that stumble, that, that shot that you hit him with, that one of the fighters. Yeah, I think that, and, and also if you are watching as well, you could see that I was I was trying to get it, you know what I mean? I was trying to like fuck this, let's just let's get it, you know. So you watch it back, I feel like <clears throat> the right decision. You said you want to enjoy Christmas. When ideally would you like to get back in the Feb, Feb, you know what I mean? So, but I, I messed with my strength conditioning coach. I was like, mate, see you on Wednesday. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, so much for fucking for chilling. But back, I'll be back in the gym next week. Fabian, um, it may take you a while to work this out and reflect on it, but how much did the emotional impact of the week have on your performance that perhaps made you tired by the third round? Mm, I don't think it was emotional. Cause I mean, in the build up, in, the, in the, the, the whole thing that was going on with him the whole time. The, um, it, it had. An effect to a, to a certain extent, but um, walking in there tonight, I was like, you know what? I was warm enough, and I felt so fit. Um, my wake up was good. You know, what I mean, camp was good. Um, I just felt like I just never, it just weren't firing. I should have. Mm. You know what I mean? So if you come now and you watch my cage work, you'll be thinking, ah, what? I ain't the same person. You know what I mean, you you will be shocked, but it is what it is. I'm only nine, I know. I've been at this sport for what five years. I never even you know throw. I never throw hands, but not like professionally. I mean, so <laughs> until five years ago, but yeah, I'm 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 still learning and developing, which is a good thing. What happens if you're firing on all cylinders then? If it, in your opinion, against Shippen? Huh? What happens if you're firing on all cylinders then? If I was firing, it, he's finished in the first. That's yeah, I mean, like my, my my guys come back and they're like, what? Everyone that knows me is like, what are you doing? I mean, like, what are you doing? Should have done what you've done. Touch a lead hand, faint, and just take your time. I shot him, and I was like, what the fuck did he shoot for? <laughs> and I mean, my, even my brother was like, why did he shoot? You you start put hands on him as well, so. I didn't need to. I didn't need to shoot on him, but it's the experience, and it's the yeah. stuff. It's stuff that can make me grow as a person. It's good that you're already kind of seem to be very critical of yourself. I mean, we don't see that an awful lot. Like, I mean, immediately now you've come back here, yeah. even after in, in the post fight interview, I feel like you were kind of uh, analyzing your performance immediately. Like, do you, do you feel like that's the best kind of growth mindset you can have for this? this oh game? yeah, yeah, that's definitely the mindset you need to have. You know, um, you can't go away and think, you know what? Ah, oh, fuck it, I won it anyways. I, I, I don't mind, I won. You know what I mean? Because the other win, and it was, it was like that. You know what I mean? It was close. So, yeah, I have to watch that back and think, where well, I need to improve. You know what I mean? I need to improve. I need to, like, get the experience on, under my belt, you know? So, just, just more hours and hours in, in the gym. Shipman, Shipman told us on the third round, you know, he felt like he had it won. He felt like he was coasting it a bit, and that's really what let him down. Mm. Did, how are you, are you thinking the same sort of thing? Because, obviously, or do you think that's what let him down in the end? Um, but did you realize that, and that's why you went for it? I mean, so. no, nah, like I said, my brother said one on one. My brother said, Listen, one on one, or whatever, you know what I mean? He's a hometown boy, just go. You know what I mean? My brother said, just, just, Listen, he needs to just go out there and just try to finish this guy. So, yeah, that's all I had in my head. Like, come on, man, let's try to finish this kid. And, and, did. Um, and you did. And then almost did. that in the second round, gone for him like that. Yeah, I felt like I should have went there from the first round. Mm. You know, like, because he's never been the distance before. I have. You know what I mean? So I knew that I could have went three rounds. So I don't know why. I was trying to coast. I should have went out and just forward, 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 and just put, and put it on him and and make him tired and break him. You know, but it is what it is. My next fight, we see an improvement, which is I'm looking forward to. You mentioned you mentioned you're you're, uh, you're still learning your trade. You're still mm -hmm. developing as a as an athlete, but you're yeah. doing it under the glare of all this media attention. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of prospects on their way up, they don't get the sort of coverage and they don't get the sort of attention that you get. Mm. You did a lot of work. With, with Mike over, over the last week or so, promoting the fight as well. It's yeah. all extra stuff, it's all extra pressure, and there's a lot yeah. of expectation on you by the time you get in the cage. Does that have any if, uh, impact on you once you're in there and fighting, or is that just all completely forgotten about? It's forgotten about. When I'm walking in the cage, I'm not thinking, ah, oh, fucking hell, everyone's thinking I need to do this, I do that. You know what I mean? I'm, I am focused, you know, I am focused on, on what it needs to be, but I just felt like the more and more cage time I get, and the more fights I'm doing for my belt and all of that, um, you best see a, a, a more improved, calmer version. You know, um, calmer but deadlier version. So, but all that media, all this media stuff, I'm used to it, so it doesn't really bother me no more.
Brendan, how do you feel about um, having the crowd against you? Um, it, it seemed like you were almost lapping it up out there. How do you feel about it being, uh, going to an away game? Um, at first, I thought, like, when they announced him, and it was, and everyone went crazy for him, and they announced me, and everyone started going crazy for me, I was like, oh, the crowd's all right. But at the end, I was like, <laughs> no, I mean, at the end, everyone's trying to give give out to me, so I was just giving it back. But um, it's all right. I, I just took it up into salt and never really like made it affect me too much. Were you aware of uh, what happened after you jumped out the cage to celebrate with your team? No, I just gave hugs to everyone. I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. team come chasing yeah. after you because oh. they thought they thought you were doing a Khabib and. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see his team. I was just trying to give my manager a hug. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a friend and family a hug. I was just being loving. So I don't know what happened there. Has your brother signed any interesting contracts lately? Do you know? Oh no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fair Fabian, regarding the aftermath of the fight, there. Same thing happened last night in um, Matthias's match where oh, yeah. the crowd were fighting together. Oh, yeah. What's your view towards this? Do you think it needs to be stopped? I just feel like. If you're a fan or you, you, I mean you're supporting your guy, you don't need to come and support and be violent towards random people. I mean you support your guy and boo and cheer and all of that, but you don't need to come and and start having random fights in the crowd. Leave the fighters to do their job, and then everyone go home happy or sad or depends. You know what I mean? No one needs to be having scraps in the crowd. It's silly. So brave people. Brave. <laughs> if there's one main takeaway from this fight, what is it? Start fast. Start fast. I know that I can go. I can go through rounds at the same pace. You know what I mean, um, I was waiting too long, waiting too long. So I should have went out there, and put it on him. You know I mean, just put it on him, and that's what I'm gonna take away. Put it on him, and in certain position, don't wait too long. Don't, 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 don't make him don't rest. Don't make him rest. I'll make myself rest. I should just explode him and went more. So I'll take that. I'll take that away from this fight. What was the takeaway? That I think it took you ten minutes to throw the left leg. Right? Yeah. Is a takeaway that you throw that a bit more next time? Yeah. Not necessarily against him, but against other people, um yeah, but like I'm constantly adding to my game. You know, I'm constantly adding to my game, so my next fight probably even won't throw the left leg at all. You know, I mean I got a lot a lot of tools I can throw, so yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.